Hello, 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 and welcome to Total Mage. For the purpose of this short editorial, I will be assuming a gender binary. The recent, quote, controversy, end quote, over Mixer's dress code policy and code of conduct is laughable at best and revealing of the gross ignorance of the millennial generation at worst. For full disclosure, I do occasionally stream on Mixer, and I do not use the Twitch platform for my own streaming. I would not say that my use of the Mixer platform in any way biases my thoughts on this editorial, even though I prefer the Mixer platform. As my Twitter profile and YouTube bio say, I am a suit by day and gamer by night. Every major corporation I have worked for, and most in the world, have a dress code policy. In that dress code policy, there is a description of what is appropriate for a male and a female employee to wear as attire to work. The description a company or corporation will give on what is professionally appropriate will be a lot more vague than what Mixer has stated is their dress code policy. In my opinion, this is the case because of two things. The first being scope, scale, and feasibility. This is why major corporations have strictly controlled uniforms. If I have an employee at my job that is inappropriately dressed, there are a couple routes of opportunity to correct that mistake. I can directly address the issue myself. I can have human resources address it with the employee. The employee may draw their own conclusion that their attire is inappropriate based on the collective response of other employees to their attire. Mixer simply does not have that last option. So much of the internet and social media entertainment on the internet is based off of the shock value of one-upping and pushing the envelope every time to gain the attention of eyes that draw the marketing dollars. This is why there has been so much confusion and also rampant abuse of different corporate websites' code of conduct policies. When these sites first began, they had no idea the escalating effect that shock value would have on their ecospheres. As is evidence to anyone that wanders into the world of Twitch streaming platform, there is contained inside their ecosphere an entire genre of women that use the Twitch platform as a cam girl softcore pornography venue. I will leave my own personal opinion on pornography aside, and for the sake of this editorial, defaults to the idea that pornography is completely acceptable in the correct settings. Pornography is not acceptable in a professional workplace, unless your professional workplace has something to do with pornography. This position on pornography in the workplace is almost impossible to disagree with, and so, with that position firmly in place, how can one then argue that Mixer's policy of not wanting this type of behavior slash content on their platform is controversial? Some may say that each channel on Mixer is its own product and business. This is a fair point to make. In that analogy, Mixer would be the store and the channel be the product. Does Target sell Playboy in the magazine section? Are there adult videos for sale in the media section of Best Buy? These companies have decided to create a non-offensive and family-friendly environment. If Mixer did not have clear rules, streamers would push the boundaries of what is possible to the end result of women on channels doing everything short of being completely nude on camera. The second thing that I would point to in this whole diatribe about overly entitled self-aggrandizing millennial online trolls that are speaking out in the supposed defense of feminism. This policy will push for the outcome that Anita Sarkeesian and so many other feminist females in the video game sphere have been wanting and petitioning for over a decade to have in the video game community. There has been a constant mantra from so many female game journalists and others in the video game world that video game producers, publishers, and players rampantly objectify and over-sexualize women. And while I will agree with this to a point, it is becoming less and less the case on a regular basis. Sure, there are games that they continue to draw in an art style in which women are overly objectified. The same exaggerated art style can be credited to the male gender in many of these games as well. On the inverse of that coin, we can also see a steady progression of art style as graphics become more and more realistic that have ceased to objectify women in such an exaggerated manner and move to a more realistic depiction of what a strong woman would look like. The most recent iterations of the Tomb Raider franchise being a perfect example of the growth of video games in this area. Looping back to Mixer's policy on dress code, there should be no confusion about what Mixer's desire for this type of dress code policy is. They want a family-friendly environment. What does a family-friendly environment look like? Turn on free television. Do you see women completely and utterly underdressed on the screen constantly trying to get your attention through the use of innuendo? Mixer should be praised for their very clear and firm policy on code of conduct, behavior, and attire on their site. Game journalists should be praising Mixer for their desire to create a platform on which men and women are treated with equality and the goal of the content that is created is to be appreciated purely for its comedy, commentary, skill, art, and many other things that have to do with a real meritocratic competition. This is what the face of equality looks like. 
In the corporate setting, women and men compete against one another and typically outcomes are based on the merits of their work. While this is not always the case, this is the desired outcome of an egalitarian society. If corporate workplaces were to allow women to behave in the same manner as cam girls on Twitch do, the other side of that coin for men would be to allow men to use their strength and physical power to compete with others in the workplace. Both of those sets of traits and attributes are things that are mostly a natural part of a person's physique. For the reasons of egalitarianism and equality of opportunity, we do not allow the aforementioned types of competition in companies and corporations. In fact, because of our very strict harassment laws, companies go out of their way to encourage people to dress in a non-provocative manner to minimize the amount of misunderstanding that can happen between men and women based on each other's attire. Mixer, for all we know, will be setting up a platform in which their attire rules are strictly enforced to feed into the harassment, objectification, sexualization, and other types of malfeasance towards female gamers being closely watched and severely dealt with. Mixer's attitude in this area could be their attempt to lead the industry and create a platform in which women are treated with respect. While I personally am not an advocate of any type of censorship, and I think that if people cannot exist in a space on the internet because they feel they are being too bullied, I believe that that person should move on. That being said, if Mixer were to make a move to be the leader in this area and create an environment of fairness, of expectation and conduct for both creator and consumer, this would not intrinsically be a bad thing. In closing, I can say that I'm honestly pleased with Mixer's policy. I think people are decrying this as some type of discrimination should be embracing this as a move of progression towards a more just and equitable opportunity for female gamers online. There are many female gamers on Twitch and other platforms that do an absolutely phenomenal job. They are excellent gamers and have no hint of innuendo about them. They're simply females that love to play video games and that are actually playing video games at the top of their field in entertainment. I personally think that a lot of these gamers need to come out in support of Mixer's policy. People like Anita Sarkeesian and others in the quote journalist quote, end quote sphere should be doing the same in their advocacy of equal treatment for female gamers. I feel like in so many ways this is simply a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario for Mixer. Either they have strict rules that enforce no harassment policies, or they have loosey-goosey rules like over at Twitch that inevitably lead to people being upset with how others are talking about each other on the platform and alienating towards certain groups of women that actually want to compete in the competitive video game scene. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you next time.